What's up everybody, my name is Luke from Archer Woods, pre-owned menswear and vintage watch store. Now I may be late to the party by here, on good authority that there's a bit of a meme going around about a Negroni Spagliato. With Prosecco in it. Now I'm not beyond jumping on meme bandwagons, but I've actually never had a Negroni Spagliato. With Prosecco in it. So I thought I'd make a video trying one out. Trying one out, that didn't sound right. If you're unaware, and I've literally just had to Google it after seeing the meme, it's uh, Spagliato means broken in Italian, and essentially, rather than gin, it's Prosecco, which is interesting, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm a big fan of Negronis, and uh, whilst whilst we make this and try it, I also wanted to give a little sneak peek of our Husband's Paris suit that's now in store. I understand that not a lot of people know about Husband's. This is a Husband's Paris suit. It's a um, Parisian brand, tailors. Uh, essentially, they make aesthetically 70s looking suits uh, from Italian in a sort of Italian way with a mix of English materials. Uh, I've always been a, I've been a huge fan of them since I've heard of them, um, and I thought I'd go, we'd react to a video that Mr. Porter made back when they did a capsule collection with them a few years back, uh, just showing off the the brand and it gives a really good aesthetic of the whole thing. Mr. Shout out to Mr. Porter because they do some amazing videos when they do them, and um, yeah, it looks really great. But yeah, first of all. Let's get to the spagliato. With Prosecco in it. Okay, I like my Negroni bitter. By the way, the Negroni vintage Negroni bottle set is in store, archerwoods.com. Um, they're really cool pieces, really cool if you like Negronis and you just want something a little bit different for decorating. Should we go double? Okay, I, don't, I won't go double because I don't know how much to add. Let's go double. Yeah, I like mine normally as bitter as possible, so I hold off on the martini a little bit. If you're unaware, it's just three equal parts normally, uh, but I'm told that Spagnetto with Prosecco in it is a little bit more Prosecco. So, uh, yeah, these glasses also in store, vintage French bar glasses. But yeah, let's get this uh, have a little mix. So, I'm also told that you can just have the straight up bar, but I like it. Garnish. I'm not going to do that very well. Okay. Cheers. It smells like orange. That's good. That's, that is. That's real good. It's very different. So the sweetness of the Prosecco takes a lot of the Campari bitterness away, but it's got a really interesting flavour. I really like that. It's going to be a little bit less alcoholic because there's no gin in there as well, which is plus or minus, whatever you think. Um, but yeah, that's that's really nice. That's lovely. Big fan of that. You just get a hint of Prosecco. You don't get much of it at all. Just get that front, the front flavour is Prosecco, and then it goes all into the Negroni after that. Big fan. All right, that's good. What other sort of stuff can you put in the Negroni? Anyway, I'm gonna have to mute it because of copyright, and it's there's some some music in there. This is the Mr. Porter video along with Husband's Paris that he did uh, a few years back. Look at what they shoot this as well. There's Nicholas Cabal, so he's the owner, creator of Husbands. And you can see immediately from his silhouette of stuff he's wearing, that, that's, that's what they sell. Slim trousers, elongated torsos, um, blazers, strong shoulders, safety, and, this, and yeah, just, um, just really interesting silhouettes. A bit of gas from the Bagbato with Prosecco. So retail, these things aren't cheap. You're looking for a suit, possibly 2,500 pounds, somewhere in that sort of reason, region. 
Um, we've got a seersucker suit that they did for this actual Mr. Porter thing in store at the moment. I think I can't remember, but it's this way below a hundred, uh, way below a thousand pounds. We've got a blazer in there at the moment, which is really lovely, and then we'll have this double-breasted suit, which I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, so what he's saying is, so essentially, his inspirations are all. 70s movie stars for, from the sort of French New Wave era. Um, the fabrics I pick, a lot of English fabric fabrics, and um, like you can see with this jacket here, just very classic, um, but interesting and different uh, fabrics. Well, I'd love the silhouette. So you see that the, the way the the body's so long and slim. It just I know he's a very slim and slender guy, but I'm not and. You can, you can get, it really does change your silhouette quite a bit. The high waisted trousers as well, uh, which is a big factor. I don't think they do anything but high waisted trousers like you see there. Um, it, just, it just makes a uh, man's physique just masculine, but also very sexy. This is like what Tom Ford's been doing with his tailoring for years, is, is recreating that 70s look. And also, I'm someone with relatively broad shoulders, and I don't normally like a lot of padding, but because of the body is slim and slender, and the sleeves are slender, it's okay to have that little bit. Again, big lapels as well. Um, they do a range, peak lapels, and all sorts of sizes. Um, similar jacket, the one I'm wearing now. And with the denim, kind of copied that from Kind of sour as well. It's got like a soury flavour to it. Yeah, also sometimes they have to try a little bit of a flair to it. They do some really cool um, some boots which are kind of Cuban heeled and they've moved into a little bit of casual sort of jeans, high waisted jeans and um, uh, just a few like more casual shirts as well, denim shirts and things like that, which is really cool. So if you if you're unaware, check them out, Husbands Paris. Um, yeah, a really great brand. But let's check out the suit we've got. So, it's this guy. This two-piece navy with very faint pinstripes uh, on it, double-breasted, peak lapels, lovely little green lining as well. Really interesting uh, colour in the and sort of pattern to the pinstripes also. So I will do a video on this set release. This is size UK 38. The trousers are a size 30, but with a little bit of room for letting out. Uh, I'll do a separate video on all this just to show off the suit a bit more. It's, it's a really beautiful suit. Check out the store archingwoods.com for pre owned menswear, lots of tailoring, really great prices, especially compared to the retail, um, and suits of, for all different sort of budgets as well. We've got jackets in there for like £50, uh, going all the way up to something like this, which is a little bit more expensive. But yeah, uh, any questions, let us know. Get in touch. It's hello at archingwoods.co.uk or at archingwoods on our socials. Cheers.